Where are we going today, Nikolai? Big Boy Toy! <laughs> hey guys, we're going to Big Boy Toys and Hobbies today. Uh, we're going to check out some new RC stuff. Hopefully we'll leave today with a new RC toy. So this boat right here, the Traxxas Destructor, this boat is unreleased yet. It's supposed to come out in October. This one is the new Traxxas Disruptor. And what, when is this one coming out? It's not, this is unreleased yet? This one, yes, it is unreleased. So this is a store display slash demo. Mm. It will be released early October, sometime around October 5th. Awesome, can we go out and run it? We absolutely can. Awesome. I'm here with Jeremy from Big Boy Toys and Hobbies of Lafayette. Uh, we have two boats with us today. We have the new Traxxas Disruptor and the Traxxas Spartan SR. The plan for today is to check out the Traxxas Disruptor, see what it's all about. These boats right here, uh, how fast are they? So the Spartan SR is a 6S boat. It does have self-riding um, and it's capable of 50 plus, you know, in between 50 and 60 miles an hour. Uh, the Disruptor is a 4S uh, boat and it's capable of in the mid 40s. So the claim to fame with this Disruptor is it uses the Traxxas 4S batteries, the 6700s. So it's a perfect addition to someone that already has like an X-Max, a Max or an XRT that already has like six, I mean 4S 6700 milliamp batteries and they can just drop them right in. And it is a self-riding boat as well. Awesome, so they're, they're both self-riding. Correct. Awesome, okay, cool. So yeah, we won't have to, go out swimming in this lake. <laughs> right, right, right. So guys, the, this boat right here, this is an unreleased unit, right? So um, this is brand new, it's never been ran yet, right? Correct, correct. Awesome, so yeah, what, what, what we're doing today, this is uh, completely first for the channel, and uh, once we're done with this, we're gonna figure out exactly which boat we want to have for the channel. This is a forest? That's, that's the 4S6700. Like I said, that's the, uh, that's the batteries that the X-Maxes, XRTs, and the Maxes all used. Awesome. Awesome. All right, so uh, we're starting off with this one. We can. Awesome. Let's go. This one's ready to go. Can you give it a little gas, a tiny bit? Awesome. All right, so I'm excited to see this one go. You ready? Yes. All right. First time ever driving an RC boat. It's first time? Yes, he's Very never cool. driven an RC boat before. Now remember, Nikolai, it's not gonna turn unless you give it gas. Wait, no, uh, it has a rudder, so even if you let go of the gas, does it still turn? It has to, it has to be moving to turn. Right, right, right. right yeah. but, 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 okay. It's got a rudder, so it will turn. Just not as good. Just not as good, correct. All right. Wow. Is it fun? You like it? Get on it. It's fast, huh? Let's see how fast it goes. Okay, you wanna bring it back in? Yeah. I guess I'll open it up and we'll put it inside. Yep. That, that, that was so fun. Was it? Yes. So you think you should get one? Well, of yeah. course we're gonna get one. We should absolutely. We can't. We can't play with it and not get it. I know. I guess does it matter where it goes in here? Not really. We just just. Like this yeah, you don't want to hit. You want to stick to it? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Yeah. 
start. All right. All right, so guys, it started. Let's see how fast it'll go. Uh, just splash the drone. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you. You already did. Yeah, did I get you again? I don't know. I think it's too high now. That was a pretty pretty fast pass. That was. You want to bring it in here, Nikolai? And we'll... Uh, We'll see how fast it was. Slow it down, slow it down. Uh, all right, let's see. You guys take it out. Oh, no? No, no. We'll just uh, stop, read. 44 miles an hour. Nice. <laughs> 44 miles an hour in that boat. You want to try and make another pass and see yeah. if you can get a little quicker? Let's start off straight and shoot off that way. All right. Let's see. I'm going to try to follow right behind you. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> All right. It's a little windy, which is probably making it a little harder for you to to get perfectly straight runs. Woo. That was a good one. That was a good one. It looked completely straight. It's hard to keep up with this thing. So it looks like it never really, I mean, the self writing is incredible. It's just, it just does it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, perfect. You get a chance to see the self writing. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do so it yet. What you want to do is just hold on a sec. hit the gas hard. Let it go. Like hit the brake. Let it go. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. There you go. There you go. That was. So so it spins up that um that flywheel and then you hit the brakes and that momentum of it stopping flips it over. Correct. But the boat really tends to land on its bottom. You really it don't does. Have to use it does, you're right. Ooh, that was cool. Man, that tail that it has. So we just did a few runs with this boat. Um, it performs incredibly well. You guys saw uh, its self-riding mechanism and it, it worked very well. So basically what it does is it uses the momentum from the flywheel to flip it over. So you give it some gas, hit the brake and it flips it right over. 
Uh, the highest speed we got so far was 44 miles an hour. On the bottom of the boat, and you're only really concerned about the bottom third, the front half doesn't really matter, but on the back third, uh, if you slightly remove the gloss, you don't want to see any uh, physical scratches or anything like that that's going to slow you down. But just creating a smooth matte finish will improve performance of the boat. Uh, other things about the boat is moving battery. So battery placement uh, improves performance. So a battery that's shoved more forward is going to ride wetter and it'll actually slow the boat down a little bit. A battery that goes further back is going to ride drier. The problem with going too far back is if you go too far back, you're likely to flip the boat over whenever you're taking off. I mean, it'll almost it'll wheelie out of the water and completely flip itself over. And if you're somewhere in between, you can create a porpoise where it kind of comes up and keeps slapping the water. And that every time it comes back down and touches the water, it's slowing it down. So getting that battery placement just right where it's riding on the last third of the hull, and that's it, is, uh, is perfect for increasing speed of a boat. So that's one thing I really like about boats is there's a lot of things you can do to a boat to tune and improve performance without necessarily having to buy a bunch of expensive electronics and, and stuff like that. You're throwing the balance off a little yeah. bit. Ooh! Hey, Dad. Can, can I try? Yes, one second. Yeah. Uh oh. Nothing? No. Can I go get the rescue boat? Uh oh, it's good. It's good. Some came up blood. Can I, can I get the rescue boat? I'm just gonna get the rescue boat. That's fine. So it's been a real fun day today. Uh, thank you to Jeremy from Big Boy Toys and Hobbies. Thank you for bringing out your boats. It's been absolutely amazing. This is my first experience with boats. I really appreciate it. And uh, you wanna let them know about your store? Yeah, so I'm Jeremy with Big Boy Toys and Hobbies. We are in Lafayette, Louisiana at 2930 Johnston Street. So you can come and see us. Our phone number is 337-269-5800. I wanna thank you for inviting me out here. I had a, a load of fun and We'll have to do it again. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for watching the Speed Boost RC channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.